The Attorney General, Anand Ram Logan, has responded to PNM Senator Faris Al Rawi saying his Google announcement is not a distraction. Mr. Ram Logan says the PNM likes to put a spin on everything. He says he's happy that the credibility of the Prime Minister and her government has been restored. However, the Attorney General said they'll take legal action against the opposition leader, Dr. Keith Rowley. Melissa Dasrath has more. After the AG's announcement on Sunday, that the Gmail accounts were fake, PNM Senator Faris Arawi criticized the timing of the news and said it is meant to deflect from the debate on the constitutional amendment bill set to start tomorrow in the Senate. The AG has fired back, saying it is no distraction. It is Google International which controls the servers with the emails of every single subscriber that has cleared us. Google has, through its international custodian, given a sworn statutory declaration, which has been filed in the state of California in the courts as a consent order on Friday after a year and a half of legal, intense legal um, battling. So that, um, that is a spin of the PNM. They have to find something to say because um, this has exploded and boomeranged on them. But this is not the end because the government will decide on what course of action to take against the leader of the opposition, Dr. Keith Rowley, who was the mastermind behind the fraudulent emails. There would be several options available. There would obviously be, um, you know, uh, an issue that the parliamentary caucus will have to discuss. There will also be an issue for our lawyers to discuss. Um, there's also an issue for the criminal law to discuss with respect to criminal libel. So that there are many options, the criminal law, the civil law, and the parliament that would have to be explored. And we will take it one day at a time. Dr. Rowley has um, apologized to me in the past publicly when he lied on me on a number of occasions. I anxiously await his apology, but I want to make it abundantly clear on this occasion, an apology will not suffice. The AG said the email gate scandal left a dark cloud of suspicion hovering over the government. And after a long legal battle, their names are cleared and credibility restored. Melissa Dastroff, C News. Well, we'll have more on the Attorney General's statements concerning email gate a bit later on in the newscast. Joining us here in studio is Attorney at Law Wayne Sturge. Good evening, Mr. Sturge, and thank Good you evening. for giving us some of your time. Now, you've heard what the, and seen the news reports and heard what the Attorney General and Senior Counsel Pamela Elder have said about what Google has found. Yes. What does this mean in terms of the email gate investigation? Well, it, it means, in essence, that the entire um, the entire disclosure was, was a hoax, um, a total fraud to begin with, so that there's um, not one shred of truth, whether in terms of content or whether the emails were in fact sent at all. It, um, it states quite categorically that um, it was not sent, and it um, gave a number of reasons why, um, the, why they felt, um, in their professional opinion, and based on the evidence they have at their disposal, that this was a hoax. Now, Dr. Rowley has said that he was just presenting content of emails. He says he does not have to prove that the email accounts were authentic. So if the email content comes from a, a fake email account, what do we think about with regard to the content? Well, it, it, it came from no account um, belonging to the Attorney General or the Prime Minister. So e even if someone and concocted um, or manufactured their own account to resemble the account of the Attorney General or the Prime Minister. The, the, the stark reality is it did not emanate from them. So if it did not emanate from them, the content does not matter. Okay. And what does this mean for Dr. Rowley with talks of the Attorney General wanting to sue him? Well, he's, an, he's entitled to, um, to sue. There are a number of other um, avenues in the criminal law. Um, it's quite clearly a breach of the Integrity in Public Life Act. There's even um, jokingly a summary offence, section 46F of the Summary Offences Act, uh, where Dr. Rowley can be deemed a rogue or vagabond for having um, ex exposed um, um, material that, is, um, that has, found, has been found to be defamatory. So there are a number of, um, a number of avenues, both civilly and criminally. And does uh, any of the uh, remarks from the Attorney General with regards to suing Dr. Rowley, does it affect the investigation, the email gate investigation? No, it, 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 it does not. Um, the police are still free to pursue the investigation to its logical conclusion, relying 
of course, on the forensic evidence. Um, and the primary evidence would be from Google. The Integrity Commission is still free to pursue. I don't know for what, um, because um, it's, it's incontrovertible that um, this was a hoax.